welcome to part 8342 of Web Intersect, where we're learning how to build a really complex social networking website. This is part 9,432,830,452 part. Okay, when we last left off, we had created a page called editsettings.php here and that page you're going to put all of the things you know, like the private settings for everyone's account so in my edit settings page I'm going to have change password and delete account uh, just to start off with so what's going to happen is when they put in their current password and their new password and what I'm going to show you in this lesson is how to parse this out after they put in the current password then they create new password and confirm their new password that they want to create they press change password it'll go to a script called edit settings parse and if you look at the code here in Dreamweaver form action edit settings parse so when they press this submit button down here it's going to go to edit settings parse and send all of this form data to edit settings parse so we can pick it up parse it out to the database and then give them a display message on message to user.php that universal page that just shows the user a message that we want we'll send them a message saying your account settings have been updated click here and which will send them maybe to their profile or maybe back to the edit settings page or the edit profile page and on edit profile I added the link right here which this link has been here for a while but I made it active now and in the code view you can see edit account settings that link goes to edit settings.php which is this page here lets them change their password yada 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 so that's pretty much the summary of how it will work and now I'm going to show you how to do it so let's file new create a new PHP page and go to the code view zap all of this stuff out of here because we don't need it this page is going to be all PHP script and no HTML so we'll start our PHP block or if you're in Dreamweaver you could actually go up to here if you're in Dreamweaver CS4 and you can insert your PHP some common commonly used PHP items using these buttons up here and experiment with them to see what it, what it gives you there's all kind of stuff for cookies and session all kind of neat stuff but I'm just gonna put in a PHP block and inside the first block we're gonna make sure they're logged in so we can go to the edit settings page of the code view and just borrow that code here and remember login check right there session pop it right in so if they are not logged in as a logged in user with a session then we exit the script send them the message to user and tell them only site members can do that blah 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 and let's go ahead and file save this file as hmm let's save this as what, the web intersect root okay this is edit settings parse underscore parse whoa that's all messed up edit settings parse okay so all we have to do now is pick up the variables when they come in so we're going to create an if conditional here to pick up that certain set and we're going to make this script look for certain sets of information coming in that way it doesn't have to parse out a huge script it will just parse it out in sections like we've been doing kinda all through the lesson some of our parsing scripts so we'll say if mm, right here code we have a hidden variable of name is parse and the value is pass change that's good we can use that edit settings parse if post underscore POST and this is going to be the variable coming from that form 
that hidden variable that we just looked at and it's going to be named parse so we're going to say if the posted variable parse is equal to pass change grab that with control C pass change so if the posted variable parse coming from the form it equals pass change we're going to run this section of code everything that's in between this little nest here so in this section the first thing we want to do is gather the posted variables from the form okay so we're gathering the current password whatever they typed in yeah, let me show you here in split view this one is named current pass this one is named new pass one this one is named new pass two so when those when the person clicks change password those three variables are going to be sent to this edit parse and it's going to we're going to gather them right here current pass new pass one new pass two and put them in local variables right there to work with them easier so basically you're just taking the posted variable and kind of transforming it into a local variable in PHP so you can work with it a little more easily and we're also want to gather the session ID number for this user who's logged in so you can say here mem well let's just say ID ID equals the session ID so this will be for this logged in member we grab their session ID okay now that we have the three pieces of data that we need coming from that form which is their current password their new password and their confirmed password confirm new password and their session ID we also need that we're gonna pop in the script that's gonna take care of changing their password and checking a couple things and then I'm gonna walk you through it line by line so right here at line 17 I'm gonna pop it in and it extends to line 44 so right there 17 to 44 is what I just put in right there so the first section of it is if the new password does not equal confirm password we give them a message to user create new password and confirm new password did not match and we exit the script send them to the message to user.php page it also has a link in there to edit settings.php so they can try again and so if they do match we continue on so after that we're going to connect to the database because we're going to have to run a couple of queries we don't have to worry about cleansing this data this input too much because it's uh, going to be hashed up right here we're going to hash it up so we can check it against what's in the database so the hash to current pass in this line and we hash a new pass in this line so with the hash current pass we do a MySQL query so we select all from my members where ID equals this members ID and password equals the hashed current pass we should get a result of one from this query so right here we put that result in this variable so in this condition right here we can say if that result is not equal to one or my condition is if that variable is greater than zero then we can do what we need to do because all would be good so you can write this a couple of different ways but basically if this is supposed to equal a one if everything is right then this will will match this this condition right here will be true because pass num check will be greater than zero because it will be a one so we run the MySQL update my members set password to the hash new pass and that's what changes their password right there that line that actually performs the password change on the database then we give them a message your password has been changed successfully click here to go to your profile then we exit the script and then this last little section this else condition part of the condition would be given to them if this pass num check was not greater than zero 
or was uh, yeah was not greater than zero. If it's equal to zero, if we got a result from this line of zero, then this condition wouldn't be met here. It would be false. So this else would run. And we say your current password did not match what we have on file. So here, when they type in their current password, if that doesn't match what their current password actually is, then we can't change their password because something's screwy there. They don't even know what their current password is. Then they should run the uh, forgot your password script, which I'll be showing you guys very soon, actually. Um, but that's everything. That will effectively change the password, and we're going to test it out right now. Let's FTP edit settings parse edit settings and edit profile so here I am at web intersect at my profile I'll go to edit profile and now we should have a new link here it says edit account settings let's go to that I'm gonna type in my current password my new password and then confirm my new password see if it works your password has been changed successfully click here to go to your profile let's go to edit profile again edit account settings let's put a password in that's not my current password see what happens your current password did not match what we have on file so you can see everything's working just dandy so that concludes this part and in the next part we're going to show you how to on that same script the edit settings where are we edit settings page right under the change your password here we're going to have a little form for deleting their account so somebody can completely delete their account and get out of Dodge. Alright, we'll see you in the next lesson.